Hey guys, I told you I'd be back. Today, we're going to climb into the studio and have a look at a couple of techniques that every musician or up-and-coming sound person should know about. So, I'm thinking we should just rock this intro. Today's topic is something that a lot of people would probably say is a very basic and elementary knowledge. But to me, if it's so basic and elementary, how come I see many people still doing it incorrectly? I don't know. You tell me. So we're going to look at how to set up a boom stand for a microphone and how to properly wrap a microphone cable. So here we have our basic microphone boom stand. The first thing I want to do is set up the base on this. So on this particular one, I pull the legs out and I can lock them in. And then what I want to do is I want to slide this base right down to the end of the upright on the mic stand. So like this. So that's right now to the end. Some people I see, they will leave a little bit of stand out of the end of it. That's incorrect. Okay, so that upright needs to go right inside the base. Once it's in, then we can tighten our nut and voila! That's how the base should look once it's set up properly. So here's the top end of the boom stand. We have a few different adjustments on this. So this guy right here, if I loosen it off, I can adjust the height of the mast. Once I achieve the height that I want, I just tighten it up. And it stays where it's supposed to. This adjustment here moves the angle of the boom. And I can set the boom to any degree I need to. Once I get it to where I need it, I tighten this up and it stays where it is. There's a set screw at the very back here and if I loosen it, I can adjust the telescoping of the boom arm itself. Once I figure out where I want that to be, all I have to do is tighten that screw up and there she goes. Then it's just a matter of connecting the XLR cable to the back of the microphone and sliding the microphone into the wide end of the microphone clip. And there you have it. Then once the mic is in, depending on what you're going to be miking, um, if you're going to be having the mic on a stationary instrument, perhaps a drum or even a guitar amp, what you might want to do is take the cable and wrap it around the boom and mic stand. So that way it stays neat and tidy and you're not worried about it drooping or um, someone tripping over it. If I'm going to be setting this up for a vocalist, especially if the vocalist is going to be moving around, I am definitely probably just going to leave the mic cable loose like that. That way the vocalist can just pull it out and use the mic. So, it's the end of the night, you've finished your gig, you've finished playing, and now it's time for the pack up and the load out. If you're a nice guy or gal, you might want to help your sound man wrap up the cables. Most good sound men are very particular at how they do this. And I am going to show you the correct way to wrap a mic cable. So your sound man is going to be really happy with you. What's important to understand from the outset is that most electrical cable or most audio cable has a natural coil to it. And if we wrap the cable according to that natural coil, it'll wrap up really nice and neat. So I'm right-handed, so I'm going to start with the end of the cable in my left hand like this, and I hold it like this. 
And then what I do is I loop it around like this. And as I loop it, I give that cable ever so slightly a little twist with my fingers. So I'm actually twisting it clockwise. I bring the cable up and I get a loop that's approximately I think about eight inches, eight inches, eight, nine inches like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach down again, take the same length or roughly the same length, bring it up and give it another twist. So the loop is very similar. And again, I reach down and I bring the cable up and I give it that twist with my thumb and away we go. And I just repeat this process just like this, bringing the loop up, twisting it with my thumb. If the microphone cable starts to bunch up or get a little bit twisted at the end, all I do is I lift that end of the cable up so it unwinds itself. And then I continue on. So, bring it up, loop it again. Bring it up, loop it again. Bring it up, loop it again. And bring it up and loop it again. So this is what you're finished with. The wrap is all uniform and it's not twisted because we don't want a twisted cable. Now on some of my cables I actually use these little velcro twist ties here. They're kind of handy and then once the mic cable is, is coiled up all I do is I take this velcro and I wrap it around like this. So there's my finished cable all nice and neat and uniform snugly wrapped with the velcro and ready to go into the cable case. When you wrap things like this that means that when you go to play another gig this comes out of the cable case. It's neat. All you have to do is untie the velcro and your cable is ready to go. It's ready to come easily unwound. It's not tangled and you don't have to spend time trying to figure out how to untangle it. Now I'm going to show you some incorrect ways of wrapping cables. When I was in junior high somebody taught me how to wrap cables like this and so what I've done is I've taken the mic cord and I've got about uh, probably a 20 inch length here of a wrap like this and then what I was told to do is to take the cable and tie it in a knot. Now, if you do this for a professional sound man, he will probably kill you. <laughs> this is also very, very hard on cable over time. So, you never tie a cable in a knot like this. This is totally an incorrect wrap for a mic cable. This is also an incorrect way to wrap cables. If you wrap a cable like this, the sound man will probably break both your arms and then make you rewrap all of the cords again. You know, some of you may be thinking to yourself, why is it so important that I know how to do things like this? Well, like I said in one of my other videos, life is all about relationships. And bands and your work are all about relationships too. So learning little things like this, how to wrap cables, can help your relationship with your sound man or even your relationship with your fellow musicians because at some point you're going to need some help too whether it's help with putting your amp on stage or setting up your bass drum on a riser and the sound man may be able to help you with that so it's real give and take and that's what life is 
And that's what good relationships are in the music business. Once again, thanks for watching the video, and I sincerely hope you got something out of it. If you liked the video, give us a big thumbs up down below. And don't be afraid to smack that subscribe button and hit the bell next to it, so that way you get notified of our new videos that come out every week. Also, if you have an idea for a topic that you'd like to hear us discuss, or say, a product that you'd like to see us review, leave us a message in the comments down below, and we'll try and get to it as soon as we can. Once again, I'm Bruce for Blackboard Rules, and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Roll that outro. <laughs>